Hi, my name is Laura, and today I'm going to talk to you about what is symbolism. Symbolism is the implied or interpreted meaning of an object or a ritual, and probably the most um, common uh, symbolism in our society today is the knowledge that the white wedding dress of a bride symbolizes purity and innocence, um, as of course you'll see in every bride magazine. Um, white in any well, actually, white in our culture symbolizes purity, but white in many other cultures, especially Indian culture, symbolizes death, which is interesting. So um, if you go to an Indian wedding, you're not going to see a lot of white because that's what they wear to their funerals. Um, so in different societies, you'll have different symbolism. Um, you can also see symbolism in art. I have here an example from um, a picture by Holbein. I hope I don't Um, called the Ambassadors, and this picture, or this painting, uh, portrait, is actually very interesting because the symbolism is this strange skull that is embedded down below um, this portrait um, with these people. If we see here, there's a skull um, below them. Of course, skull symbolizes death. Um, and also in the picture, it's a little less noticeable, but there is a string that is broken off of the instrument, the lute, in here. That also symbolizes death. So riches and death is symbolized in this. And then finally, my final example of symbolism is the ring. And the ring is, of course, a symbol of um, eternity in that it goes around and um, does not stop. Um, but it is also, in some things, like the Lord of the Rings, symbolic of temptation. Um, the One Ring is something that is of the world and causes everyone to go crazy. Um, so this particular symbol can be used in many different ways. It can be used to symbolize um, that I am engaged to be married. It can be used to symbolize um, the, the world, or it can be used to symbolize anything that you need it to. Um, like in Lord of the Rings. So those are just some ways that symbolism can be applied um, to literature, life, and art.